Welcome to the Cult Kitchen! In this episode, we're bringing you another loaf recipe in a little segment we like to call a uh, Vintage Chef! Recipes your mama used to make. Your grandma, even. Probably your grandma. And you know what? Your grandma was dumb, because this recipe is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe is called Frosted Ribbon Loaf. Uh, I guess because if you think about it, it's kind of like one of those ribbon candies that are also really bad, so... And they're also old-timey. Yeah, I get it. This is stupid. <laughs> so the idea is, is you got like a loaf of bread that you slice three, three ways, and then you fill it with like weird gross fillings, and then you frost it with cream cheese. So it looks like a cake but it's meat and eggs. Okay? All right, let's try this out. See what happens. Frosted ribbon loaf. Obviously, you need to start with a loaf. Uh, what we have is some uh, French loaf. Now, this recipe is pretty simple. You basically make two different types of spreads and you smear it on inside of the bread that you cut and then you frost it and then you chill it and then you eat it. And then you yak. First step is we gotta decrust the bread. Uh, they only want soft, the soft innards. I've committed crimes against this bread that no man should do. I'm sorry. What we're gonna do with this is split it longwise <laughs> into three sections. So we got three, look at that, three bread things, and then we're gonna do stuff to it. First step, we're making the ham salad, uh, which is made out of ham, you got relish, you got horseradish, you got mayo, you got celery, did I say celery? I don't remember. I don't, uh, sure, we'll go with that. And they're all in very specific uh, measurements. First up, of course, is the ham, and you're gonna want a whole cup. You just chew it and spit it back out. That's also a thought. Next up, we have our celery. We're only gonna need a third of a cup, chopped finely. Yeah, chop, 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 chop. Two tablespoons relish. One. Right. Two tablespoons of relish. You're gonna need half a teaspoon of horseradish. And finally, to finish off this long national nightmare, you need a fourth of a cup of mayo. Mmm, 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 that's a good noise. Fourth of a cup mayonnaise. This doesn't seem so bad. This doesn't seem so bad so far. Next up, we're making our egg salad. We're gonna start out with four boiled eggs. <laughs> what we're gonna do to this is add a third of a cup of chopped green onions. Now we need a third of a cup of the most dreaded ingredient known to man, green olives. Third of a cup of fuck all. Fourth of a cup of mayo. <laughs> Looks good. And two tablespoons of mustard. Prepared mustard, of course. One, two. Eggy wigs. So here's our loaf we have previously cut the crust off of. Uh, we're gonna butter it up first, of course, as you do. Schmear number one, ham schmear. Do, do ham, do ham schmear. Layer one is good. I'm gonna put that on there. The next layer is the egg layer. Oh yes, yeah. just, just like grandma used to make. And then you top it off. Shaboopy. Get back in there. <laughs> Get back in there. We're gonna wrap this in foil, chill it in the fridge for about half an hour or so. Just kind of solidify everything in there. And when we're done with that, we'll add the final ingredient. We're at the home stretch. And now the last step basically is to make our frosting. And the frosting's very simple. It's just a ton of cream cheese and a little bit of milk. 
12 ounces that of cream is cheese. four ounces less than a pound of cream cheese. Holy balls. And to that, we're going to add a third of a cup of milk. Uh, just to lube it up, I guess. <laughs> well, we just have more whipped cream icing, or uh, cream cheese icing to put on other things. <laughs> I mean, you can never have enough uh, whipped cream cheese. All right, well, have fun with that. There's our mound of cream cheese. <laughs> Probably could have chilled a little bit longer to make it more solid, but hey, this is good enough. It's good enough. You, you, you always want the edge piece, right? Uh, well, it's got the most frosting on it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be delicious. It's very creamy. <laughs> That's what I thought. I hate myself! So, it's basically just the most decadent egg salad sandwich you've ever had. You get all that cream cheese on there, which adds so much richness, uh, even kind of buttery texture to it. The ham, you get some ham on there, adds a lot of flavor. It's almost, I mean, it's not quite like it's having bacon on there, but you know, you're leaning that direction, the salty ham. You can taste the pickle stands out, the, the mustard stands out. They give a nice contrast to all the richness of the cream cheese and the mayo and you know what's actually really amazing in this is the bread the bread has that slightly sour flavor to it it's like it's not sourdough but a french bread is you know heading that direction so that bread has all this flavor in it and it like cuts through like a little bit of the monotony of both of the the ham salad and the egg salad it looks like <laughs> Just a fucking mess. But the flavor, even the texture, fantastic. It's just a, a decadent sandwich. That's all it is. Yeah. Make sure you get a little bit of everything. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> yep. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's like the best egg salad sandwich ever. <laughs> I think I just got a piece of ham up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright. I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Coca-Cola Kitchen. <laughs> Like, share, 